there are methods which we can predict its result from its input values. If we have a sum method which takes two integers as input values and returns the sum of this, it is clear that we can predict the output value from the input values. If we send 2 and 5, the result will be 7, since 2 plus 5 is 7. This characteristic of being able to predict the result of a method based on its input values, we call determinism. What happens in the opposite case? That is, when we have a method which we cannot predict the exact result it will yield. Well, we say then that we are facing a non-deterministic method. A simple example of non-determinism will be the random class. With this class, we can generate pseudo-random numbers. Therefore, the output value of random methods cannot be determined from the input values supplied to its methods. Therefore, the output value of the random class methods cannot be determined from the input values supplied to these methods. However, not only with the random class, we have non-determinism. Parallelism can also cause some sort of non-determinism. Suppose you have a method that processes credit cards, and as it processes them, write a message to the console. If we use sequential programming, we can always predict the order of the messages on the console. With parallel programming, this is virtually impossible to predict. We know that all operations are going to be executed, but we have no way of knowing the order of execution of the threads that will be in charge of processing the different credit cards. Even if we know that all cards will be processed, we cannot predict the order of that processing. Therefore, we must bear in mind that when we use code in parallel, we will not be able to predict the order of operations to be performed. If you need to have a specific order in the task that you have to do, then maybe parallelism is not a good option in your case.